Hey there, Felony Nation, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, you heard that right. The ATF decided to kick off the new year by buying over 40 million Americans the gift of a felony. Gosh, ATF, you know, you really shouldn't have. Please stop existing. Today, we're going to go over some of the new rule drops from our least favorite set of alphabet boys and gun grabbing states, Tundra style. So sit back, brace yourself, and oh boy, let's start the show. Brace for impact. All right, folks, where do I even begin? On Friday, the ATF dropped a new regulation on the use of stabilizing pistol braces. If you haven't heard about the new ruling, spoiler, it's not good. If you own a stabilizing brace with any amount of surface area, congratulations, you're going to be a felon by Memorial Day weekend. Happy beginning of summer, everybody. The rule is so broadly worded, it allows the ATF to call anything on the back of your pistol a brace. Congratulations, America unless you comply with the terror, I mean the ATF's demands, over 13% of us are going to need to check and see how we look in prison orange. ATF, you will be our terrorists. With millions of Americans unlikely to comply with the ATF rule change due to ignorance, confusion, or protest, I don't know what to expect anymore. Maybe we're going to see more raids and more use of force against Americans whose only crime was buying a product they've been told was legal for years. While I worry about anyone who may get caught up by the ATF, it's really our four-legged friends who we're going to be worrying about, with the ATF's track record of being the number one threat to old yeller since rabies. Dogs across this country are hiding under the bed as we speak, and I haven't even seen my dog all day. Let's be real, folks. This is not about public safety. It's about the money. The ATF even admits it by talking about over the quarter billion dollars, 266.9 million to be exact, of revenue that they're losing with the, without this rule in place. The only thing worse than stepping on a Marine's crayon is having the ATF come after you over something they think you should have paid them for. It's, like I said, not even about public safety, and it really never has been. These Reno May looking fed boys are not known for their subtlety, and definitely don't like it when you get between them and their big score of taxpayer cash. Sorry, Reno, it's not you. Trust me, we like you. It's them. What are you talking about? This money is our ticket to the good life. But just before this ruling was pushed out of the gaping rectum that is the federal government, the Bumpy Boy ban was overturned by the Fifth Circuit. So now you can dig your bump stocks up and put those pistol braces in the exact same hole. You know what? This is actually might be the first time the government has actually saved me some work. How considerate of you. Gee, thanks. But let's be real here, folks. This is just another ruling that's going to get overturned a few years down the road. And that sucks. We don't normally talk about gun owner politics on this channel because we try to be a place where you can come and laugh without all that heavy stuff there. But with our recent Gundy nomination for top voice of the 2A and most entertaining content creator, I wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on this. So please check out the link in the description to vote for your favorite YouTuber. Hint, it's me, and make sure to let your representatives know how you feel about this. Honestly, that's probably the more important thing to do if you're short on time. Don't forget to donate to pro-gun organizations like Gun Owners of America and the Firearms Policy Coalition, and even the NRA ILA, which is not the same thing, ow, as the NRA. Just hit myself in the face with my mic stand. So here's a question, folks. Which of these poop-flinging hairless apes in the firearms department approved this ruling with more lies in it than a North Korean propaganda video? I need to know. Also, isn't it convenient that any statistical rebuttal to this ruling was wiped from the databases at the CDC with their purges of the defensive gun use statistics? Uh, no! Anyway. That's a dang it. Their reasoning is nonsense, with the general idea being as long as we volunteer our information into a registry that they can't legally create, by the way, that somehow makes the public safer. And well, it just doesn't. Now, whether or not you decide to register your guns is a different story, but what I will say to those that do register is they give them the confidence to keep doing this, and to those who don't, it at least in theory gives them the reason that they need to. They purposefully write and then retract all these rulings to put us into a lose-lose situation. 
You suck! I think we can agree here that the only wrong thing to do is to destroy your gun or turn it into the ATF. Not bloody likely. By the way, both of these are actual suggestions from the ATF in this ruling on how to make yourself not an unlicensed possessor. That, folks, is how they look at us. And I mean all of us, just as somebody who hasn't been bullied enough into paying for their permission. And yes, they do plan on bullying all of us. <laughs> of course, yes, I get it. There's a 120 day amnesty period, but you aren't getting an SBR tax stamp. You're just registering this gun as an SBR with a pistol brace attached, not a traditional SBR with the stock. It's very confusing, but does giving away an actual SBR tax stamp really sound like something the ATF would do, folks? I don't think so. All this does is create tens of millions of felons overnight, which would be the justification that they need. With those types of numbers, it's about as enforceable as left nostril only breathing. Like there's no way to make this happen. Even if they started doing raids on people they suspected of having braces from things like social media posts, do you really think they're gonna be successful in the long run? I mean, once word gets out that this is actually happening, the Red Dawn soundtrack is gonna be heard blasting from every pickup truck across the country. Wolverines! Honestly, it's a vibe. And speaking of vibe checks, what level armor does your Minecraft character have? The last time tens of millions of people were all rounded up and persecuted at the same time, Europe's tourism industry turned into rubble and Japan got really, really hot. Keep it together, Tyler. If you think that was spicy, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss out on any of our videos. We're nearing 100,000 subscribers and we'd really love to hit that mark by the end of the year. In line with the same type of buffoonery, Illinois has recently released a list of 170 guns that it's banning. Big goof, I guess. With almost every type of modern sporting rifle and variant covered, there still are some gaps, but they've said they will add more as needed. Illinois has decided that a scary gun is like porn. They know it when they see it, so just trust them to take away the scary black pew pews. This type of ruling is just trying to legislate out gun ownership, much like the ATF is trying to regulate the industry away. Basically, a large portion of the country was just handed a cease and desist letter on fun. Hey, is that legal? Those level four plates? Yeah, we need to go. This is why we can't have nice things, folks, because some nerd got scared by the loud noises that his mommy made when she drank spicy water and then decided he wanted to work for the government and make the rest of us unhappy just like him. You suck, dude. You know what I find slightly funny? As a country, we fought for our independence over unfair taxes, and now we have agencies like the ATF that get to tax whatever they choose without congressional approval, so without representation. This is freedom in the same way that the inside of a jail cell is a sprinting track. I suspect most of the people that are even aware of the rule change are going to end up attempting to register for free, but create such a backlog in the ATF system, which let's be honest, it's a government system, it's not terribly efficient, the servers are going to crash and the 120 days will lapse before anybody that even wants to complete the form can. By the way, the form is about as easy to uh, decipher as a college calculus test that's given to you by an angry German shouting at you in braille. Hey ATF, think I can get some help with this form? All right, folks, if you want some more info on both of these stories, make sure to check out our good buddies over at ARFCOM, your source for the finest two-way propaganda on the internet. If you're not subscribed to them, then you're missing out. Make sure to tell them Tundra sent you if you do head on over and definitely hit that sub button. That's about all the rage that I've got for you today, folks. I'm out of breath and my blood pressure's elevated. Let me know down in the comments how long ago you sold all your pistol braces and what you got for them. Also, I'm truly sorry for all the boating accidents that are about to occur in this country. Time to read up on those rights and get good at telling people that you don't know to come back with a warrant. Hang out with me over on Twitch where I'm live right now to discuss this video and don't forget to join us next time when we still don't know what the heck we're doing. Bye bye. Hey Meg, how do you think I look in orange?